What's good, everybody? We have a 1999 Kawasaki KX80 race dirt bike. Now, it's 60 degrees in January. I just did a video on the DRZ, and I can only say after just warming this one up, what a difference <laughs> between these. So the DRZ was the trail bike. This is a race bike, and it is clear as of such. Basically, you have low, low end and high, high end, whereas the DRZ had good low end and no high end. So this thing was like, I got on it and I ripped it around for maybe a minute and I lifted the thing up like the DRZ can't unless you're just letting go of the clutch. But it, so anyways, these were designed back in the day, I would say 70s, uh, in six, late 60s, early 70s with the dual shock in the back for racing dirt bikes. They found out that two stroke had high, high output. We, what people refer to them as a power band is actually just a band of power, which two strokes would finally reach it. So they don't have a whole hell of a lot of low end, but when you hit the gas, that thing fires right up when you get into the high RPMs, just based on the stroke styles of these. So since this one has been redone, uh, and I put the plastics on, I did the brakes, did everything like that. The front brakes are still kind of wonky. But anyways, this one is as close to his original style as you can really get. Uh, there's no aftermarket real pipe on it. There's no real aftermarket head or anything, but the head's been redone. But we're gonna test it out. We're gonna see how it does in the trails and how it feels as well. So uh, I've got it in first gear. Let's put it in the neutral, which I can never seem to find on these bikes. There we go. Let's ride it. You can see that this one doesn't match because I put that on. I didn't put the other one on, but I like that. I like that uh, number. Anyways, let's give this a shot. It's still on choke. You can hear right away. That's such a menacing sound. <laughs> oh, oh, embarrassing. So I was saying low, not very good low end. So if you're rolling around like this in the trails, it's kind of weak, right? The thing about these bike, bikes that surprise you though. So that's what I'm talking about. Low, low, I burr, or well, when you hit it, they start to go nuts. Lift right up. So. I got over that with the DRZ, no problem. It's a lot harder with the race bikes to get over those. And also to start from a stop, as you can see. I've been spoiled. I've been spoiled by these four-stroke bikes. And now I really can't go. These things are like banshees, not the quad, just in general. I'm having some trouble taming the thing down in the trails because I'm not used to them anymore. I've been riding around in four-stroke bikes for years. I've had a couple two-stroke bikes, as you can see in my previous videos. The CR80s were, uh, were a lot of fun. I'm gonna go down the big hill here since we have all our brakes. So, this and the CR8 are almost identical bikes. Alright, let's try to go through this water. Uh, so, again, not quite as easy as the DRZ or any four-stroke bike, but they still are fun. You can still get through the water and the trails. But they have no power down low. <laughs> so, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Right there, the tree. I just dug a hole about a foot deep because I've got no low end to go bro over it. You have to keep them pinned in all high gears at all times in order to get anywhere with these things. So, although they're very fast and they're a lot of fun, uh, they're mainly st sticking to tracks. <laughs> The suspension on these are way better, too. As I was saying, my brother referred to them as foo foo bikes, the other ones. Oh, it feels like you're sitting on a cloud. It's so nice.
These things are screamers. So they're a lot harder to get through these trails with, though. So, stuck again. It's like riding around with a big chainsaw. <laughs> Let me explain just what happened. So we have all ice underneath this. We also have a lot of loose leaves and this back tire is not quite the best. However, uh, the reason why I had trouble getting up the hill is because these aren't trail bikes. Like I was saying, if you look at the previous DRZ video, you could see me just putting right up it, no problem. So that's exhibit A, why these are best for the track and the DRZs are best for the trails. These are not simple trails. The video often doesn't do it justice how, how, how steep this is and uh, how crazy this terrain is, but at least you can see probably the difference between them and why you would pick the DRZ over the KX and the trails sometimes. Put that out of gear. Okay. No low end, basically. All high end. It's the sketchiest bike ever. All right, so the reason why I'm not taking this for a longer ride is because I don't trust it with all the ice underneath this stuff. But anyways, you could guys, you guys could see why these bikes were made for racing and not necessarily made for trail riding or anything like that. Although a lot of people can trail ride them, you can get used to this no problem. I've been spoiled by a 250 and a 450 in the trails, which is literally just lit, uh, hold it on idle and just pop, 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 pop. But being a KX80, the fact that they did away with these, they are now of the KX85 uh, because they have better low end and, and uh, race class and all that stuff too. Um, these are just these are just old school bikes that are still a lot of fun to drive and a whole heck of a lot of fun on the track But if I were to choose a bike, it would not be one of these unless I'm taking it on a track <laughs> But anyways, I had fun with it regardless and I hope you guys enjoyed this video And I hope you guys enjoy me restoring these things back to the way they should be for the most part I mean, they're still a little beat up, but uh, I'm not asking top dollar on these ever I just have fun with them and I like to showcase what they were I had one of these as a kid and I used to race them years back and uh Hope you guys enjoyed that though. Alright guys, we're going to test out the top speed on the 1999 Kawasaki KX80. And we just did the top speed on the DRZ80, or DRZ125L. And they're roughly about the same size motor-wise and uh, power-wise. But since this is a race bike, I fully expect this thing to be much faster. So let's give it a shot. The DRZ hit... Uh, 49 miles an hour, right? I'm expecting this 60, 58. Just testing it. We have five gears on the DRZ. We have six gears on the KX. These brakes are shaky too, so we're trying not to hit the front. <laughs>
What do y'all think? My guess is actually 62. <laughs> that is fast. That bike is fast. All right, let's see. 57. Okay. So we were really close. I said I said 58, but we said 60. So that's actually a lot of fun. So anyways, hope y'all enjoyed this video and hope y'all enjoyed how fast these little KX80s go from back in the day. Um, so thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button for more content and we'll see you later.